Job, you know. I know, I know. Oops. Yep. Okay, Dakey. Okay. So topping lifts done. Oh. Right, if you take us to win, please. There's okay. yellows there. Can't see any old hazards on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Chickens to wind. Drop the revs a little bit to so sort of get too quick. Yeah. Yeah, because that yellow's pipe probably. It probably is. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, you can start your lift. Right, third reef is up. How far have I done? Uh, you're, but between, you're not on the second uh, reef yet, so I just punch it up. I will do, but I'm not as good as I was last season at all. No, we haven't done. I've had a lot of chances this season. I know, but I'm just saying where I'm up to. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> Hang on, let me take it round a bit more. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Go. <sighs> yeah, go on, shoot it in hard. Right, okay, the two lines are in the block. Okay, let's put some wind on the seal because we're a bit tight for uh, space here. Okay. Take it around. Whoa. And we're coming on to our course now. We're on our course. There you go, top, top tail tail just lifted. Yeah, I've got the tail tails up. Right. Uh, I need it on this side, so... Yeah, you do. So I'll take the burning line. Okay, I'm ready. There's the second recover, should we try for the first? Yeah, okay. Carlingford is at 4.42. Okay, well it just says here that Carlingford starts running in at Dover minus 5 to Dover plus 2. And Dover today is about 7 o'clock. Okay. Sorry, 5 o'clock. The thing is, we're not going to get there in time, are we? I don't know. But I don't want to go in anyway. 
No, I don't want to go in either. But I'm just... Just speculating over something we don't want to do so you can decide whether or not we don't want to do it. No. It's always <laughs> wise to have these ports and refuge. I quite agree. But the thing is, there's no point in saying, well, this is a port of refuge if you look at it and go... Port, port, port Oriel would be more likely, or Dundalk Bay. dolphins here on Salty Labs and we've just had a, another little experiment because we had seven knots of wind and we were trying to get our Genoa up. Cruising shoot. Cruising shoot. Our cruising shoot up but the thing that we've learned this time is that we've got to make sure that the halyard for raising the cruising shoot is forward as well as all the other lines because I actually wrapped it round the foresail yeah. So uh, it made things very difficult. Did get it up though, uh, but unfortunately, the experiment we need a bit more experimental or a bit more wind. We're on, we're on a time critical passage, so I'm afraid to say it's going to be the donkey. If it wasn't time critical, we could carry on. Yeah, uh, and do a bit more experimenting, but it was still good to have a go. Okay, time for the donkey. to motor sail again. Um, the wind died completely but now it's come back a little bit so we got the Genoa out. We have just crossed the area on the chart marked as the border and there are two boats that were parked very very close to the borderline but uh, runs from here up toward Carlingford and the two boats came into transit and as they did we took our courtesy flag down. It's been up for quite a few months. Uh, we still have Royal St George's uh, flag that they gave us up underneath our courtesy flag. We're not members of the club, but uh, we were told if we ran it under the courtesy flag, then we could be courtesy members. So that was very, very nice of them while they let us use their uh, facilities and pop time. Um, so yeah, we're back up north. Um, we're hoping to go into our glass tonight or possibly an outreach. We're going to see how it all pans out. It really just depends what time we get there. We are looking currently at about four or five hours from here, but we are at the end of um, the tide and it should be flipping in, within the next hour and we're hoping to see some lift from the tide. It springs a couple of days ago. If we're lucky, we'll get a couple of knots out of the tide and that would help enormously. Um, we could push the boat a lot harder, but why, why do that? We still have a long way to go and we want to get back on the pace. Another day, another passage, that's how it goes around here. Um, today's passage is our glass up to Bangor. Uh, it should be something in the region of about six hours. We have left on a slightly foul tide to make sure that we get a good tide as we go through um, Donica D Sound because that's where we really want the tide to be with us, not against us. Down here, 
we don't mind if it's a little far. We have got, do you know what, I, there's not very much wind, about seven knots. Uh, we think it's probably adding about a quarter of a knot to our speed and maybe just countering the file tide. So we're quite happy to have it up. But um, the minute the game is dodging pots, as always, particularly in this area where it's quite rocky, and Gainer is also considering her optional courses and where she can go and things like that. So it's all go here, isn't it? I certainly am. Uh, I mean, so when you're um, doing a passage, there's um, a couple of little shortcuts that you can do coming down this coast. Um, the very first time we did this coast, we went round the outside of everything. Yeah, we went round the, the fairway boy, which is about a mile and a half that way. It's a way out, isn't it? Exactly, because we were... We didn't know any better. Yeah, we were even more cautious. I mean, so don't get me wrong, we are cautious sailors. I think we were even more cautious then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now I'm quite happy to go through the shortcuts. Um, it's just a little bit of tricky navigation, but... Say la vie. Say la vie. It keeps me occupied and keeps me busy.